Hello, I'm Trainer Rex and I'm taking you through the eighth element of the unit plan electrical installation work. The element title is Prepare Installation Worksite. When I say prepare installation worksite, it's not similar to what we did earlier on preparing electrical work plan. Now, after your work plan, you have proceed to preparing the site as per the schedule of installation. So here, I will be talking about the housekeeping practices, actually the good keeping process on site to ensure that whoever is on site is free of hazard, is free of harm, and the material and everything is good for you in order for you to start your installation. So quickly let me take you on the importance. So housekeeping practices as well as stated here, it helps to identify and mitigate any possible or potential hazards on site. It also enables easy access of work site and uh, access to the utilities on site. It also creates a conducive work environment and uh, by doing this is important. It helps you to be ready for installation at any time. So if it's your first time watching this, please, before you continue, remember to subscribe and if you are my subscriber, continuously liking the video below, comment, do everything on this channel. Also, encourage others to join by sharing the link or even asking them to search for Trainer Lux. Just on YouTube, search at Trainer Lux and you get this channel and all this content. So quickly, let's take you through the key terms. And the first term is OSHA. OSHA is a constitutional act eh, that uh, guides the safety of workers. That's why it's Occupational Safety and Health Act. This one cuts across all professions. Utilities, as I've stated earlier, is anything that is useful to you on site. So this can be electricity, can be water, can be lifts if you're working on a tall, on tall buildings. It can be a ladder, it can be anything that is useful for you. And uh, we, we, let me go to hazard, as I stated earlier. Hazard is anything that's likely to cause harm to you as an employee, to a client visiting the site, or any person on site. That's why it's important to ensure before you carry out electrical installation that you prepare your site to make sure it's free of any hazard and ready for installation. So here is a picture and you can see how the picture is, is looking neat. This is a picture of a guy, an electrician, who is yet to start installation, but he has made it sure that the windows are open, the spacing, the lighting is clear, and everything you can see also in the floor with this order of arrangement. That's what we're going to set here. So good housing keeping product uh, practices include one, keeping the site clean, of dust, spillage, you know dust can cause respiratory problems, uh, spillage can cause sliding, can cause corrosion and anything that will be a hazard to you. It also involves uh, ensuring that all exits entrance are free from entrance, so just in case of anything you are easy to exit the, uh, the building or the site. Ensure the site is well lit, this one encourages visibility. Also ensure if you are working on a live system. Uh, that uh, the power is off. It's uh, not uh, recommended to work on a live system. And if you must work on a live system, then ensure you are wearing protective gloves and you are handling tools as well as the system uh, safely. Ensure the safety gear is worn all the time. We'll be talking about the safety gear of electrician as we proceed. Ensure the emergency equipment are in place, like the firefighting equipment, the first aid equipment. Ensure they're all in place. And also ensure that the site is properly ventilated and to, to ensure proper aeration without paint on site. So all that, if you do that, you'll be able to mitigate, to reduce risk. That's what it is. If you see any kind of risk, risk can be uh, something that's just there, but you're waiting for you to just use, uh, use them maybe abnormally. Like let's say if you have to fix a bulb on a tall height distance, outside the building, you need to use a ladder. If you decide to use windows instead, that's a potential hazard. You, you, what happens if you get fatigued, you might slide and fall and even in yourself. If it's uh, working maybe on a live uh, or a pre-existing stage, you're not so sure if you have confirmed if power is off. Don't ask for someone to go and 
to switch it off and then just be toss on it first confirm even after you have been notified that the power is off confirm by doing the voltage test uh, yeah. when it comes to managing uh, to, uh, to arrangement ensure your materials are well arranged uh, all materials are also available on site and are arranged in order to ensure that there is no obstacle to exit and entrance path also ensure that the tools before you you get them on site they are properly checked well calibrated if the tools are to be checked against with functionality make sure they are all in condition and all tools are available so that you you don't misuse a tool because if you start misusing a tool that's where you, you make a tool to be a hazard instead of being helpful thank you for that thank you for watching this and i encourage you to subscribe if you are new to this if you have been here like share your comments below and also share this video with the rest your colleagues your your your, your, your trainees and anyone who you feel can this video be helpful so this is just the a and uh, possibly the last as we proceed we are going to start performing restoration soon and i promise to do a practical from conducting site survey to preparing work site i will even give documents a sample document of a site survey report a material quotation and uh, through your comments i will be able to redo whatever you feel like i need to do more I will do a video on it. Thank you for your time and have a good day.